So the TAs took your exam and they couldn't finish it in the three hours that you guys are given, but I already printed 500 copies, so... May the odds be ever in your favor? Today's lecture will be on the central dogma. Did I mention that my lab just published a paper recently? Real quick before we get into lecture, let me just talk briefly about my research. 2,000 years later. Well guys, it looks like we're out of time. Don't forget your problem sets on the central dogma are due tomorrow. Lecture will be on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I'll be taking eye clicker attendance on one out of those three days, but I won't tell you which one, so roll a dice. <laughs> Deriving the energy eigenvalues of an infinite square well will not appear on your guys' midterm. Hope the students remember it's opposite day. Linear algebra is everything. Linear algebra is everywhere. Linear algebra is the internet. Welcome everyone to general level organic chemistry. The first molecule that we'll be looking at the Lewis structure of is disulfur monoxide. If you guys don't subscribe to Megan's channel right now, you guys will fail this class. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's prove Stokes' theorem. So this is Stokes' theorem, and we have to somehow prove this. Uh, let's dive right into this proof. Guys, we're gonna go trick-or-treating together this year because I scheduled your midterm to be October 31st. Mm. By induction, we, we can, can clearly see that this equality is... Any questions? <laughs> Linear algebra is this hair scrunchie. So, uh, we've already done the hard part. All that's left is integration, integration by parts. By parts. I don't know why people are still treating Oski as our mascot when our real mascot is Dauda. Ooh, finally we finished writing this midterm. This will be fun because I haven't solved any of these questions myself yet. Attention class! I am going to release midterms from 1990 to 2019. Feel free to work through these problems, get the feel of them, get comfortable with the types of questions that these past exams are asking. Oh, so this is what we should expect on our exam. No, this is 2020, bitch. I don't know why people say that Cal is not a party school because you guys are gonna get fucking wasted at the homework party that the core staff is throwing tonight. All right, has everyone gotten a copy of the exam? Remember that every time you take a test, you're actually taking two tests. One, test of knowledge, and the second, test of integrity. Make sure you put away all devices, calculators, They will slow you down. How to maximize your GPA? Top this class. Remember guys, there is no shame in knowing when to quit. Reminder, the drop deadline is this Friday. You in the back. Are you smiling? No. How dare you smile in my class? I'm so sorry, professor. I'm just really excited to learn. There is nothing funny about material science. Welcome everyone to the first level introduction computer science course offered here at Cal. The prerequisites for this course are courses in computer science. Linear algebra is this tape. Welcome everyone to any psychology class taught ever. Here is the syllabus of what we'll be covering for the course. Let's cover exactly what will appear on your guys' midterm. Hey, recording guy, cut the mic on the webcast. Writing is like a muscle. It must be exercised. And that's why we're going to be training for the fucking Iron Man. Every night, you guys will have six haikus, six sonnets, and six monologues due. <laughs> Linear algebra is this ketchup bottle. What the? AirPods? I encourage you all to not go to lecture, stay home, and just watch the webcast. We don't have enough seats for everyone. <laughs> Linear algebra is the air. On the true fall section of your guys' midterm, if you guys got less than half right, you get zero credit for that entire section because you could have gotten more right by just guessing than using your own math intuition. Fuck! Why are all the students finishing the midterm on time? Hey, head TA, be sure to add another three pages to the next midterm. How's the length of this midterm? K 
Can you fit a stapler through it? No. Perfect. So in order to do your guys' homework, you guys will have to purchase the multivariable calculus textbook from the Cal store. It has the exact same problems as in the textbook that sold for half price on Amazon. The only difference is the order of the problems. Linear algebra. Perfect. The 15 minute chemistry midterm is 16 pages. One for every element that UC Berkeley discovered. Go Bears. Welcome everyone to college level physics. It'll be a little bit different than what you were taught in high school physics. Here, we write Newton's first law as And your guys' homework assignments will be on an elite learning platform called Mastering Physics, where you guys will not become a master at physics. Linear algebra is this box of tissues, which is what all of you guys will need after you take my final. <laughs> Tell me what the difference is between totipotent, multipotent, pluripotent, and ultrapotent stem cells. Uh, I don't think there's such a thing as ultrapotent stem cells. Good. Just testing you. Everyone, recall from your intro to linear algebra course that you all probably took in your freshman year a very basic concept called the Hessian. Bro, do you remember what the Hessian is? Never heard of it. Because it'll be super critical to you guys understanding the body of such a gold from shadow algorithm. Hmm. Why does my eye clicker tracker attendant register 100 students when I'm only seeing 25? Hmm. 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 The midterm average is a little higher than I expected. It's above 50. It's either the students are cheating, the problems are too easy, or I'm too good of a teacher. I cannot stress enough how important it is to understand the derivation behind the michaelis menten equation. And that's why it will be question 6 on this week's problem set. In this Sunday's midterm review session, the head TA will go over exactly what won't appear on your guys' midterm. So everyone, I have a million dollar startup idea. And I'm recruiting intellectually mature undergrads. Who's interested? So Oski, it looks like you're top 10 in my class. Show me what you got. Reverse me a link list four times. But that just gives me the same link list that I started out with. Do you want your own spinny hat or not? The Broiding Goiter Fletcher The Broider Goldberg Broiding Goldberg Fletcher Shano Any the Broiding Goldberg Take 10 for that algorithm. Oh my goodness. Seriously, what is up with that algorithm? It's like everyone took part in a group project and everyone wants partial credit. <laughs>